Moral of the story, don't buy this devil infested vehicle if you have any self respect for the human race. Hey, my name's Sean O'Brett, and I hate this car. Like, totally hate it. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the five things that I hate most about this stupid machine. By the way, if in case you didn't know, this is a 2007 Infiniti G35 Coupe, and, oh, uh, it's just terrible. Let me, just, let me get into it. The first thing that's completely stupid about this stupid car is this gap here. These fender flares come out so far and the, the wheel and the tire don't even fill it. Like I have 20 millimeter spacers on right now and it's still not filling that stupid gap. Freaking dumb. The next thing I hate about this car is this stupid sound system. And I know this comes stock with Bose premium sound and whatever that means, but this thing like I'm trying to play like my own music on here and this is a 2007 and there's no there's no aux there's no uh, USB there's there's nothing I have to use a stupid radio transmitter and this thing doesn't even work right half the time so I'm stuck with the radio and you think oh put a new head unit in it and I'd be like that sounds like a great idea I actually have one that I could use but this whole piece is one thing and this has the cars AC and heat and all that stuff so you have to get an aftermarket piece that is just this and that hole because you can't just take out this to put in your new head unit so you have to spend like hundred fifty dollars on an aftermarket not as good quality piece that just has this and has a hole to put in your head unit and that's before the cost of the head unit or the sound system or whatever else you want to do dumb the next thing is this stupid clock like I mean, I'm freaking 18. I don't know how to read a real clock like that. I mean, who knows how to read a clock? Like, that'd be a dumb thing to know how to do. And sometimes at night, the light on this clock, or like right now, doesn't even come on. So if it's nighttime, like, I don't even know what time it is when I'm trying to drive unless I look at my phone, and we all know how dangerous that is. Another thing I hate about this stupid overpriced Nissan is this engine just freaking drinks oil. Like if you drive this car like anybody would drive this car, fun, you just have to keep filling this thing with oil. Like it just drinks. Like how can that even be okay? Like fix your shit, Nissan. Like what is this? Like the engine's great, it's big and it's fun and this is even the up rev since it's the 2007. But learn how to manage your oil consumption. Like come on, this is just dumb. Another thing that is freaking stupid about this car, I don't know if this is a big issue on these or not, but like, the trunk, of course it works right now, but mine decided to only work some of the time, so like, there was a point in time where I couldn't get anything out of my trunk, and there was like beach towels that were sitting there like freaking molding, and it won't open, and yes, I checked all the things, I made it was unlocked, I tried that button, Unlocked, locked, whatever you want. And before you losers that know about this car get mad at me, yes, I know, there's a toggle right there for if you want the trunk to open with the button or whatever. I made sure that was in the right spot. But then it still decided to only work part of the time. And then when we're on this trunk, like, honestly, if you're stuck in the trunk, like, if I have somebody in the trunk, I don't want them to be able to get out of the trunk. Like, that's just a stupid thing to have on there. Moral of the story, don't buy this devil infested vehicle if you have any self respect for the human race. It's just, just such a dumb car, don't buy it, don't waste your life. I'd rather have a freaking Now as I hope you guys can tell, that five things I hate were five things that annoy me, but was a little uh, over dramatized. I absolutely love my car, this thing is amazing, it's I love it so much. There's so many more things that I love about this car than I don't like. Check out my review on it. Check out all the stuff I've done to it. All the videos are on the channel. But this thing is a freaking beast. I love her so much. There's so many awesome things about this car. I talked about the oil consumption, but the engine is awesome. The transmission is awesome. It's fun, rear wheel drive. It's just a great car to drive. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this five things I hate video. If you were entertained at all or agreed with anything, please hit that thumbs up button. 
you have anything else to add or say something that you don't like or you love about your G35, put that in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Helps me out a bunch. And as always, y'all, catch you on the flip. But that's okay, cause we win it, win it, win it, win it. Living high dreams, just come fly with me. Plenty we can go around, picking money trees.